question here that says, is it right for couples to be sharing bills equally? All right. Um, yeah. Being in the UK doesn't, doesn't change scripture. You know, so um, in the first place, the whole principles of God's word is given also in the assumption that you are a believer, you know, you are submitted to God and all those things. These this principles of scripture usually won't sit well with an unbeliever. Won't sit well with somebody that is not submitted to God. Doesn't make sense, you know, to them. So, um, given 50-50, we don't, we don't support each other in the marriage by law. We do it by love. Not by law. When you are, when you are trying to do 50-50, 40 50, you, are, you are trying to bring law into it. Yeah. And that's no more love. That's a transaction. That's not affection. When is love? When you're really in love with somebody, you can't put a marker on how much I'm helping you. I'm helping you as much as you need the help. And usually it will be 50-50. It never will be. Some people will need 90% help at some point. Some will need 100% help at some time. And it changes with time. It changes different areas. I might need your 100% help financially. You might need my 50% help spiritually. We'll keep changing like that. So in a marriage, we are one. So we're not really measuring what we have. It's everything we even own belongs to us. So the premise of the question is already wrong. They have to understand covenant that both of them are one. In that case, you are not really assisting him. He say, we are one. He say, it's my money. It's our money. So it's not really assistance in that sense. All right. When I was talking about assistance, it can be things like domestic or other stuff. But not really that. The concept of covenant marriage is that the two of you are now one person. All right. And you can't be saying, measuring the percentage of assistance. So if, if there's the need for one to buy a, a house and it's 100,000 pounds, and the man can raise 60,000 pounds, and you want to give half. So you still give your half, and there will be money remaining, and we'll be owing. It's still us owing. If he dies, you are the one that will inherit that, the debt. So it's, it's us. Marriage is two becoming one. So forget about 50-50. It's 100, 100 We give 100, 100 in the marriage. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Bones' Spot. Sorry. <laughs> Daddy just brought baby girl for me. This is actually, you know, days after making that Sumptions dinner for my family. Oh yes, you guys know that Bomsi is, is, as in, I love to cook. It, it, it's very therapeutic for me to actually be in the kitchen, cutting my ingredients, cooking and all. But if you call me for cleaning, I'm not there. I'm not going to answer you. <laughs> Sweet mommy. Sweet mommy. But yeah, you guys, say hello to Princess Zoe, Roro Mommy. <laughs> say hello to her. Hi, baby. Let me just lay her on the bed, actually. What happened? Huh. Hmm. I mean, I even say today is my editing video day. Let me just sit down, finish up my videos and edit. I don't know what's wrong with him. Sorry, my husband came in because he's working from home. He's working from home. My husband came in, just came to, to pick up something. So yeah, you guys, I was saying that I want to have an honest chit chat with each and every one of you because huh, I'm just thankful for you guys. And you don't know that you encourage me to be very honest with you. You encourage me. So I was just in a crossroad where i was just thinking you know to myself that am i doing enough with my youtube platform like am i doing enough with my channel you know and you f you know that there are some times that you will sit down and you ask yourself like what do i need to do do i need to add more do i need to do more you know apart from just you know lifestyle food and do i need to do more so i was just asking myself this question and i was thinking out loud as well but in that thinking out loud i came back to reply some comments you know from a video that i had posted some days ago and in that video there's somebody that dropped a very wonderful comment i'm gonna like show it on the screen and the person just said that you know bomsi i learned a lot from your channel thank you so much you know just drop like a very encouraging um what they call it um message and when i was telling you guys that i was thinking out loud sorry i'm just checking on my baby <laughs> when i was telling you guys that i was actually thinking out loud right so i asked a very wonderful subscriber of mine if you if you guys what they call it follow me on instagram you know that you know i chat with some of you on my instagram so i was asking like a very diehard subscriber of mine like does she feel like you know 
I'm doing much, I'm delivering the value, and I was just like, boom, see. We learn a lot from your channel, to be very honest with you. I'm also going to show you guys that message. And it just really encouraged me, to be very honest with you. You'll be in a position where you feel like you should be doing more, you're not doing more. Seeing all these messages and seeing all these comments is a source of encouragement to me, to be very honest with you. And I really do appreciate it, to be very honest with you. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. That take out your time and don't just watch i love to read comments if you guys notice i replied to say that i did not reply your comments is that maybe i didn't see it i take out my time to reply comments if you notice that i take out my time to reply comments because i want to go through the minds of each and every one of you i mean not just you know thanks for sharing this but i want to to take out the mind from each and every one of you like you watch this video, you enjoyed it. What did you really enjoy about the video? So that in my next video, I can probably do better. You know, sometimes you guys say, um, put on the recipe of the food you were cooking today, or just tell us the name of the food you were cooking, uh, or boom, say, what was this, or what was that, or I take out those things and then probably do better in my next video. So yeah, you guys, I was just thinking out loud. I'm just coming here to just, you know, thank you people, each and every one of you that actually watch Bumsy Sports and support Bumsy Sports. Sorry, hold on. Let me just pick up baby. <laughs> I don't know if she's enjoying this, her position, but come, sweet, sweet. Come, mama. Come on. <laughs> yeah, so you guys, right? Um, I don't know if you enjoyed the beginning clip of this video while I was cooking and there was a preaching that was playing along. I decided to put in that clip, you know, put in that preaching clip because I believe that it will help a lot of people to be very honest with you. She said yes. <laughs> I believe that it will help, you know, a couple of people as well, you know, before you make the decision to get into marriage. Marriage is a whole lot right and marriage was not ordained by society <laughs> marriage was ordained by god in heaven so when society sets a standard that is not god's standard you know it is not society that ordained marriage so when pastor is telling you that 50 50 doesn't exist to be very honest with you there are sometimes in marriage that you alone will be the one to give a hundred <laughs> and i don't mean just a hundred in finances a hundred in a lot of things you alone will be the one just to give a hundred and there are, there are also times where your partner as well will be the one to give a hundred alone you know without even pointing out to you to say oh there was this time where you couldn't or you can't or this and that so i always encourage people if you ask me you know if you ask me i always encourage people delete societal rules and regulation of how these things are supposed to work or how these marriages are supposed to work i mean you know these days a lot of people are springing up as marriage advisors and different things and all that somebody had 20 years 30 years 35 years of marriage and is coming to give you advice doesn't mean that the person had 20 30 or 35 years of a blissful or successful marriage oh yes <laughs> oh yes so just be mindful of people that you you get these advices from to be very honest with you the ultimate person that you you should always refer to you know if you're seeking for better ways to do your marriage or you know you're probably just single you're trying to make a decision to settle and just a lot of things you should know that the orchestrator of this institution is not man the orchestrator of this institution is god let me just go and fix up a lot of things and yeah i just really wanted to just come and pour out my heart to you guys and tell you guys thank you and let me know in the comment section if i'm doing enough and you know if there are things that you also want me to do as well and also put in consideration when you're telling me these things that i'm gonna be resuming work very soon for those of you that don't know i actually work at 95 i'm a working mom i actually work at 95 and you know youtube i do youtube alongside working in 95 so these things are actually tedious to do but when i come in here feel coming when i come in here and i do these things with so much finesse you know you probably might not understand what i have to go through just putting these things together but yeah let me just eat you know food is here for me let me just eat so i can go and express 
Yum, yum. You guys, let me show you guys my fruit. Ooh. <laughs> ah. Let me just eat quickly and yeah, I'll come back and speak to you guys. But if I can't come back to speak to you guys, we're just going to call it a day with this vlog because i just really want to wanted to have an honest chit chat with you guys and yeah i most definitely will see you guys in my next video don't forget to smash the subscribe button like share comment and bye